All right, so I want to show how it works to um, create a Docker container, take a, um, a snapshot of it, or uh, actually it's called different. It's called in Docker terms a checkpoint. So I'm taking a checkpoint of the container, which basically freezes the container's memory and everything that's happening with the container. You know, all the TCP connections are stored and everything. And then I can, um, you know, do something else and restore the container and it in the exact same state as before with the memory and everything being part of that, uh, that storage. So let's go through this once. Uh, I'll first start the container and attach to it. So it's starting up a JVM that hosts a, a competition server. And I'm gonna tail to the, to the client's output so that we can see what's happening there. So when I connect one client, the server gets notified about that, obviously. It notices and it sends some messages to the client so the client knows what's its key what's its prefix and the server knows uh, it notices or you know it says first login observed okay so if we create a checkpoint of this server um, docker checkpoint power attack and let's call this uh, checkpoint 2 because I think I have one already there it Ah, oh, sorry, docker checkpoint create checkpoint two. Power attack checkpoint two, here we go. It freezes the server and the client says, you know, there's a there's an error in the in the JMS. Uh, now obviously the client needs to be capable of handling uh, temporary outages to the to the server, but in this case the the client uh, start, the client software is written so that it can survive if there's a disconnect and then it just tries to reconnect a couple of times. I think I actually set it to infinite retries. So now as you can see the docker container is completely shut off and now if we start from a container so let's do it like this That was actually the wrong container. Here we go. I need this one. Now the container is running again. But we want to see if it actually works um, in the fact that, or, you know, in the case that, okay, now the container is running again, but nothing's happening, right? I mean, I, I don't see anything happening in the client, so let's see if we actually can just keep going and the bottom client doesn't care. So what the server is actually in the state of the server right now is it's still waiting for the second login because it's waiting for two, it's expecting two clients, uh, this one and agent UDE. So now when I start up the second one, it connects to the server and all of them start exchanging information. So now the competition started. Now the idea is um, for this counterfactual analysis to have my agent to so first of all we run the server in interactive mode and then to have my agent send a pause request to the to the server and so the server stops and pauses and after a couple of seconds everything should be settled down there's not going to be any file IO anymore and uh, the clients are all caught up so then we can take a checkpoint that shuts down the server. Start the server up again. Do some counterfactual, hypothetical, you know, change of, of you know, some variables, or have the agent behave in a different way, or whatever. And then we stop the server again. Restore from the prior checkpoint. And pretend like nothing ever happened. And this alternate path that we took, we can have all the data from it, but it doesn't actually affect the the linear structure of the 
of the competition itself. So yeah, we can freeze the server and uh, restart it and we pretty much take a snapshot of the entire state of the application. So that's kind of neat.